I was because I went to the Oklahoma Weekly last week. Mm -hmm. um, there was like this feeling of uh, like I'm the invader and I feel like really scared. But regardless, getting into this, we've got uh, Palutena versus Joker. Yeah, we've got um, Batman, who is a, a local threat, very very solid player. Plays uh, used to play Lucas, now plays Joker. Big JRPG fan, and uh, what looks like real Gray uh, on the Palutena. Right now. Pixel, you play Joker yourself, so what do you think of this matchup? What is Joker trying to look out for? So, uh, what I tend to look out for is uh, opportunities in neutral when Palutena is is either is misspacing her aerials or getting sort of uh, on the back foot. Right. Palutena, when she's you know in advantage, is a scary character. We've known that since launch, right? They were Joker Absolutely. also in advantage is a scary character, uh, but I feel like Joker's got better ground options to sort of contest Palutena because she has to commit to three frames of jump squat before she gets any aerials. Of out. So if Palu starts jumping in on you, you've got a pretty safe space to play from. Mm. Um, obviously be cognizant of Nair, because Nair is spooky. Absolutely. Uh, but Joker has the movement, both in the air and on the ground, and the ability to just like get raw kill moves out just like that, Dang, and an make him a really, really dangerous opponent for Palutena in a lot of instances. absolutely divine job, like a com commanding lead so far. For sure. You know? Batman is a very explosive player. Um, he, he loves to just go in and hit buttons. Not in like a button mashy sense, but he loves to be on top of someone. To overwhelm yeah, like, as absolutely. much as possible. And there's, you know, I, I love playing like that too, so it's a lot of fun watching, watching Batman play, because I, I feel like I see myself in that, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, right now, like, Batman is doing a really good job at just keeping Palutena, like, off the stage, like, the stock... <gasps> okay, I thought... <laughs> if you two-framed, that would've been crazy. Two-frame with a footstool. Now, I think he wins the tournament, like, alone <laughs> from that, you know? I love two-frame, or uh, footstool in a two-frame like that. That's just, every time you do that, I'm like, all right, you're cool. Mm. You win. Absolutely. Oh, wow, quite an aggressive dare, but... I think there's like really good in instances like that, and that as a decent out shield option because it's got such a like a decent kind of range as well. Like it hits mm -hmm. on both sides. Like the hitbox threat isn't like that great, but it hits on both sides. But I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> yeah. It um. Palutena's dare. First thing learned recently that it's not her shield. She kicks you. Did not know that. Joker, he was at. Um, he was at. No, no, no. He was at 37 before the hit. Uh, that was a. That was a charged. They're, they're laughing about it. They're like, that's incredible. You can't be mad at something like that. I mean, I guess you can. But you like... absolutely can. As a Joker player, you most certainly can be mad about that. That's why I look at you and just shrug. <laughs> Oops. It's it's like... I don't know. Like, I, I see that and like, sure, it's really annoying to get hit by, but there's like some sort of... I don't know about you, but like when I play, like when, when stuff like that happens, there's like a sort of wonderment that kicks in. It's like, why is this a thing? Uh, Joker F Smash is also definitely frame 17, and he charged it. Is it frame 17? It's active frame 17. Like, it's it's 16 frames to start up, and then it's active frame 17. That's kind of slow. It's his slowest smash attack. Right. Uh, up smash is uh, 10, down smash is 12, right. and uh, 16 frames of start up on um, F Smash, so it's active. I just want to talk about this real quick. So the counterpick stage here is Smashville. Um, what do you make of this? Because, like, um, I feel like... It's uh, interesting. I think, I think he might... Just be, uh, I don't know how competent uh, Real Grey is. He did well enough. Like, obviously, Batman's in an incredible player, but he was not, you know, it wasn't like I was watching a new player play Ultimate. Yeah, you could tell sure. he knew what he was doing. Mm. Uh, I feel like he might want to try to go for teleport cancel stuff. Yeah. Uh, like having it's a also Sorry. really good because having a big center platform is great for up air coverage. Of course. Um, so I feel like those two things in conjunction make this a strong stage for, for sure. I'm surprised there wasn't like a maybe a thought to go to a stage like Kalos because a lot of the time during that previous set, um, Palutena was just getting like edge guarded. Like most of the damage came from being edge guarded. Sure. You know, so I think for, like I find this pick somewhat questionable. Counterpoint? Down gun. Down gun? Uh Kalos is basically FD. Right. And you can't run from down gun on FD like you can under platforms. That would make sense. So you have to be also Kalos actually isn't uh, legal right now. We are our, our two FDs are FD and um Oh is Kalos, Kalos not legal today? No, it's we, we had Kalos legal for a while, so that's why I was musing on it, and then I remembered uh, it's not a not a legal stage right now. Well, that's a good thing I didn't go to it before I realized. <laughs> <laughs> you got a gentleman to it. Oh yeah. I'm back at back at home in the UK. <laughs> um, but right now, uh complete like opposite to game one, albeit uh Batman SDing from, sure. from what it looks like. But it's look. not quite explosive as game one, but it definitely the momentum is definitely uh, a lot more even. I feel like though that's because like Batman's gonna have to kind of be careful with where he presses his buttons. You know, he was quite aggressive in the first game. He was hitting loads of buttons, doing a really great job at it. But now that he's on the back foot, I think he needs to be a, he needs to consolidate a little bit where he's going to 
uh, press uh, sure. those buttons, but I mean, that's just good. That's crazy. So <laughs> that's uh, mad. <laughs> fun fact about Joker down air: uh, because the down the spike hitbox is active for two frames, but there's an active frame prior to it of Joker doing his normal down air, and it's not our sense foot. Mm. It actually means that it's three frames active where it'll link into a down uh, into the spike hitbox. Oh, really? So it's really easy to two frame with. Quite reliable. Yeah. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I use it in that position a lot, and it, it gets pretty good mileage very frequently. Oh, he got That's so a risk much. of using that move in this matchup, by He's the way. He's got so much meter just from Rebels guarding that yeah. one explosive flame. It is very, very scary to use that move in positions where Joker mm. can, you know, Absolutely. Rebels... No! Oh, no, it's okay. He'll make this back. Oh. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> I, I'm too naive for this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Joker in that position a handful of times. I bet you relish every time someone... Like SD, uh, air dodges off stage. Especially when I have uh, Arsene active, it's like, cool, I get this next stock too. <laughs> I'm a monster. And all of a sudden, it's like back to, you know, shades of game one, really. Certainly. Um, I feel like in this uh, in this position, what uh, Palatine is really going to be looking for is to um, edge guard Joker, as in, like, go off stage in that. Because, like, neutral, I can do, like, a decent job at, like, hitting. Joker out of his like up beam, and then once he's used it, of yeah. course he doesn't get his jump back. You know. So Joker as a character is kind of unique in that he can't really recover high uh, if if he's far enough away. Close. He can with an air dodge, uh, of course, but like when he's far enough away, you know Joker's gonna go low. Mm. So characters like Palu that just can drop with big lingering hitboxes like her Nair do a really good job of contesting both both up bees, but mm. especially uh, hook. So you just fall on top of Joker and then you know, force it again. For sure. That was a really good whiff punish. I really love that. As an inkling main. Yeah. <laughs> dashing out, dashing back in to get the grab. Mwah. As a former melee player, I agree. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow. That was so that, strong. That lingered as well. That didn't look like it was going to hit. Yeah, it's uh, quite meaty. That was a great read on the recovery. For sure. I'm surprised he, that he didn't go for the ledge in that, uh, in that uh, situation, because of course, like, um, when Palatina uses her uh, recovery um, above uh, and or equal to the ledge, she's actually completely intangible. Yeah, most helper recoveries are like that, if mm. I'm not mistaken. Mm. Because the what causes the two-frame is the game snapping you to ledge. You're vulnerable during that animation. Mm. But when you're above the ledge, it's a different ledge snap animation that mm. doesn't incur vulnerability. Mm. Well, either way, like, really good job on Batman. Yeah, for sure. Batman is, a, is such a fun player to watch. I really, really like his uh, his Joker.